five, four, three, two, one, zero. And lift off. Lift off of Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yushikin, and Luca Parmentano on a six hour ride to the International Space Station. So the United States currently has no way to get anybody into space anywhere, let, al uh, let alone astronauts to the space station. So what we're doing right now is we're paying our Russian partners uh, for rides on their Soyuz rocket, and that's where all of our American astronauts are getting to the space station. But that costs a lot of money. It's $70 uh, million dollars a seat is what the current price is, and um, that's all being that's taxpayer money flowing to Russia. So we want to put a stop to that and uh, have our own domestic capability and get Americans back into space on American rockets. And also, you know, as a first step towards uh, developing new vehicles so that one day, if we have a catastrophe and all have to, and have to get humanity <laughs> off the planet, you know, maybe one day we'll be able to do that. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Starting pitch kick. So about two years ago, I left NASA and I came to work for a company called SpaceX, which is located in Southern California in Hawthorne. And my job there is basically to convert the rocket, the Falcon 9, and the spacecraft, the Dragon, uh, that we're using to carry cargo to the space station and get it ready to carry people to the space station. Okay, so let's talk about this movie. So sure. what did you what did you think about it? Having been in space, what did you think about some of the details about space that were depicted, like the spaceships or well, I thought the spaceships were beautiful, first of all. I love I love uh, you know the curvaceous design is when, when you guys go see the movie it's 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 pretty awesome. Um, and and the other thing I thought was really interesting was the user interface. So so the way that the crew uh, interacted with the ships and all the uh, all the systems, the, um, the, the the holographic imagery and and, and and all the controls were actually very uh, futuristic and and I think that that in, it, they'll stand the test of time. They did such a good job with that that you know 10, 20 years hence it'll still look futuristic.